d'abord, il n'y a pas si mal qu'à ce qu'on a dit ça pour perdre être cher et pas un habit saut parce qu'à ça maman beaucoup de langage et je l'ai connu et dans mon travail qui en vie et n'ayez pas qu'il n'a même comment est-ce qu'il n'y a qu'il va nous dire à comment tu ou bah comme il est là ou à bal ici bango alors c'est vraiment une fierté pour nous un énorme cadre qui nous sort au monde d'ailleurs bah résultat comment est-ce qu'il va nous faire dans ma balle là bas il est là où il a tout perdu. Donc vraiment, nous avons pas au moulin mon aïe. N'ayez pas ces pelles qui vous font mal. On y est sur la gare à l'obayaman.
זה לתהום. פה, אלון גנגר.
the family would want to uh, pass their appreciation uh, for your kindness and for the time that you have time take to come here and gather with them in this hard time and the moments they are in. So for now, as the program has started, I would like to welcome Pastor Amal who is here with us. He's going to come and give us the word of encouragement as everyone is taking their place. May we welcome Pastor on the stage. Thank you very much. Let us bow in prayer. Father, we thank you very much. We come before you in this moment where our hearts are crying. But I believe an encouragement to you. Father, I give you praise and I honor you. As the Bible says, there's a time to be born and there's a time to die. Father, it's quite difficult for us to understand. Again, the Bible says, that in this moment, give us the deeper understanding of what is happening in the Lord. And we bless you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. And before we pay our last respect to our sister, mother, Grandma to somebody, and I believe that this was to preach in the moment like this one. But if all of us were busy crying, nobody would understand the will of God. He put the system in place where he said there is a season for everything here on earth the season to be born, the season to cry, the season to plant, the season to kill, the season to make love. <coughs> Hallelujah. Amen. It's quite difficult for us human beings to control this. A time to be born, a time to die, like this one, a time to plant, a time to uproot, a time to kill, a time to heal, a time to tear down, and a time to build. It's quite difficult to see somebody was with us, that is not long ago, and you come and you begin to preach on. That the way that God designed this is for us to go through all this season. When it's a season for us to run, it's okay. But that season will never remain there forever. When it's a season to die, we need to understand that. I'm saying here, just to make you understand. Say the book of Ephesians 12, 7. Where it comes from. And the spirit will turn to God who gave it us. Did you see that? And the Bible said there is a time when that season for you to die is there. This body will go to the ground. And the spirit that God put in us will go back to the earth. But all that we need to do. It's because there is nothing that we can do. And I know family, they spend money. Some of us say we spend with that. Who are we to judge God? So we need just to bow before God and say, You are super God. The book of John, verse 4, starting from 1 to 2. I have come around for us to understand that dying is a process. Give us that grace, we will see it 
as is coming in his glory. But the system that God put before us is for us to die. But somebody will ask himself a lot of questions. Why all this? It is good for God to expose us to this. Process. Let your heart be troubled. Do not let your heart be troubled. You believe in God and believe in me too. In my father's house, there are many rooms. I go there to prepare the place for you. Where I will be, you will be there too. So I believe that is going to apply to us today. Because the Bible says, I'm going to prepare the place for you. And where I will be, you will also be there. Therefore, we cannot trouble our heart because crying will never solve the problem. But there's one thing that we need to do is to make sure that when this season of time comes to you, are you going to be ready? But the only thing that I want you to do as we are about to put the seed in the ground, it will die. But in a few days, it will come back again. And there is a place where God prepared for us who believe in Him. If you believe in Jesus Christ, when this time arrives, then I invite you today to receive Him as Lord and Savior. If you are far from Christ, give your life to Him. Give your life to Jesus. Friends, I believe that it's not a, a good place for us to come and you know, preach for a long time. But I want us to stand for a few minutes. The first one, it's for you to say, God, when this season comes to me, am I going to be ready? And the second prayer point, we're going to pray for the family. Can we do so? Let us stand. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. Daddy, we are coming before you. We believe, mighty God, that it's quite difficult for us to make sense of what is happening. As the word says, there is a time, season to be born and a season to die. When this season comes to me, am I going to be ready? So I pray today that you will give me the grace to focus on what is happening and fix my heart. Father, I pray that your grace will be with us. Not only that we are going to cry, but we will look up. You are sovereign God. We commit everything unto your hands. In the name of Jesus. Brothers and sisters, I want us just to pray for the family. It's a quite a difficult moment. We are going to keep them in the hand of the Lord. And we will pray that even the body as is going back home, or the funeral procession will go well. And we will pray that there will be a shalom of God out of our heart. Let us pray for the family. Father, we thank you. Presenting the family before you. It's a quite difficult of God for us to come with the Christian on this day. But the only gift that we can give them is a prayer that we are fulfilling. We pray, my people, that you will ask your heart to ask you what you have done. The same way that you present them. The same encouraging words we have heard it from the man of God he's encouraging us and he tells us that 
are you ready when the time like this comes for you? Before I call the family members, I would like to just spoke a few words. I met Sister Vivi from our church by Pastor Moses in Life Giving Faith Ministry. It was just for a short time that we had the sister. But even if uh, the sister was in pain, she had to seek and find God before she could part. We believe as a church, those who were there in the last moments, we believe that Sister Vivi, she was went to a place of rest. She was in so much pain. She has found God, and God was with her even in that moment. It was her last moment, but she had to seek God, and God showed this. But it is what it is, the time has come for you to depart. We are so sure and certain that our sister, she's with the Lord as she is right now. Yeah. So I just want to say, one of us, sister, brother, who is here, are you ready when your time comes? Are you sure you know where to be? Sister, we will you know where to run to. She knew who to go and seek. Through the help of Pastor Moses, through the prayers of the other pastors here, we help her to do this. But if God say, my daughter, it is your time, we cannot do it. Rest in peace. We know that you are in good hands now. So now I would like to call the family members who will come and give speech to the family members. Oh. 
just show you how much I love you. And take the feels you know me you feel. I come today. You are no more with us. We are calling you now another name. But I know you are in the better place. I know you are seeing us. I know you are watching us. You wish to come back to, to warn us, to tell us what, what we should, what is good. Because we can't see what you are seeing. Our eyes are blind. But I pray that you will speak to us. Because you know the first day, you know what's us we can't see. Warn us. So we should come also, we should take that chance to be born again before we die. Now I see that death is real. It's not a joke, it's true. Death is real. So this is a way nobody can escape. We definitely come where you are. But I pray that we should get a chance to repent, to receive the God the way we receive it. Rest in peace. And the Lord keep on being with you. Thank you so much.
that day. It has control our life. Especially this time is a war. But the Bible says there is hope to those who are still alive. As you and I are still alive, it's the time to check ourselves. Oh, am I holding grudges? Let me repent. Because the pain we are facing here is different with the pain we will face the day we will die. But it's better that we must face this pain, but one day we must go rest with our Lord Jesus. My brothers and my sisters, let this day must be the day for you to think, to arrange your relationship with Jesus Christ, to save him. I remember my sister was telling me, tell your God to give me chance. I didn't do nothing for you. Please, God, forgive me. What am I coming to give you? What am I coming to show you? I didn't do nothing. But if you mess up on me, I should do more. But you and I, we can do more. We can help the poor. We can serve God in the churches. We can support the ministry of God. The church, Jesus, both of the blood. Let us support one another. One day we'll give reports to our God. Thank you so much. That is just advice I want to give you and I. That we are in this world, but we are not from here. We will pass, we will go. There is a better place for us. So let us receive a prayer. Lord, there is nothing I can do just to say thank you. Because you knew that this day will happen the way it happened. I say thank you so much. I know our sister at last, she was crying. She said, Mama Pastor, I want my, my son Gina to know God. I want my daughters to know God. The Lord I knew for my children. I pray that God will help me step on them to know you better. Lord, I pray, may I pray to the answer today. May you visit the family. May you touch them to know you better. God, as we are here right now, we come to pray with the sisters, but we know it's a reminder for us. Holy Spirit, remind us because you are great, who knows how to remind us better, and to speak to inner hearts, speak to us, speak to us, so that we should arrange our way with you, so we should come to rest with you, Jesus Christ. It's not your will that we should perish, but your will is that we should enjoy with you. Because you say you are preparing the way, you are preparing the table for us. I thank you. May you receive our sister. May our soul rest in peace. Thank you, God, for everything. Strengthen the family. Comfort them. Give them strength to the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, I pray and say amen. amen. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mama, for the prayer. Now it's uh, time for the body to be moved. And uh, people can sit in their place. There is going to be some refreshments after this. So you can give us the music. Yes. D'abord, il y a et il 
Je suis de Je suis un de Je de Je Okay. Merci.